I don't want to share them, but I've noticed a growing trend of surprisingly angry fitness influencers making videos like this. You aren't fat because of your genetics, you are fat because you eat too much. And this leaves me with two huge questions. Why are they shouting? Why haven't they taken the time to read even a single research paper on this topic? Genetics, how much food you eat. These are not mutually exclusive. You know? Studies dating back to the 1980s found that children who were adopted tended to have body weights that resembled their biological parents and siblings, not their adoptive parents. You can also look at pairs of twins, identical and non-identical, who were raised together and separately to help isolate genetic and environmental factors. The genetic influences on BMI were even estimated to be more important than environmental factors. Let's use a simple, far less common, but much more extreme example example, monogenic obesity. Enter the famous OB gene, a mutation in a single gene that can cause severe obesity. Defects in a gene can cause severe appetite dysregulation, which has been seen in children from four months old with congenital leptin deficiency who see extreme weight gain, which can be treated with leptin therapy. Since then, other genes that are implicated with severe obesity have been identified. These are rare, but extreme genetic defects that you can think of as black and white, on or off. But what about all the more common shades of grey in the middle? This is the more complicated topic of polygenic obesity, all the less extreme genetic factors which play a more subtle role. Your body mass index is highly heritable. But let's put all the science to one side and go with pure anecdote. If you go and ask 1,000 people who feel like they are struggling with their weight, you will probably notice a very common theme. Many feel like they are swimming upstream against how powerful their appetite signals are. Biologically, many people will find it harder to lose body fat than I would, for example. And that is okay to admit. Just like some people can gain strength easier than others, or naturally run faster than others. Yes, we can all train hard and change the trajectory of whatever genetic predisposition we have, obviously. I am not denying that. I am not even trying to argue that genetics play the primary role as such. But it's actually very important to acknowledge that they do play a role, because even I am fed up of wanky fitness influencers making it sound like if you can't get a six pack like they have, then you must lack willpower and self-discipline, wankers.